Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Robert Hollis Jr. and I just want to welcome everybody to today's blog post. Uh, if you're watching this video, make sure you go to roberthollisjr.com. Uh, you can see all my other videos that I posted there and also fill out your information to get your free gift from me on how to take your past fears and failures and use them as fuel to just hit the ground running. And I got an awesome, awesome video to share with you guys today. Um, I was actually reading a book today and, you know, read this and, and it just really, really struck me. It's something that I, I, I've been doing for a long time, but I didn't really understand the, the gravity or the seriousness of it. And I really, really wanted to share that with you guys today. So really the topic of today's uh, 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 blog post is, are you a people builder? So there's gonna be two different people watching this today. One, this could be for you to share, or this could be for you directly. And I'll share that in a second. And you know, really what I mean by, you know, are you a people builder? See, I, I've talked about on a couple other blog posts about you know, when I heard this from Les Brown, that for every time, you know, somebody tells you that you can't do something that it's actually been proven, it's studied, that somebody else has to come along and tell you seven times that you can do it. See, I want everybody watching this to really think about this and, and honest, you know, honest my opinion. You know, if you really look at the reasons why people join network marketing companies, decide to be entrepreneurs, uh, internet marketers, whatever it is, is, is really usually not because of the product, is usually not because of the opportunity. Now, don't get me wrong, there are people that are going to join your company purely, you know, on the product or purely on the, the chance to make money, but that's not normally why people join and stick around. Why do they? Because we're, we're marketing hope. We're, we're marketing them to feel better, that they can do something better with their lives. You know, think about naturally in a day-to-day -day life of somebody. You know, we're more often told what we can't do, the box that we have to fit in, than, than, we, than people tell us that they can do it. You know, I, I really think about my son, you know, it's, it's, it's virtually impossible. You know, he's gonna be two, two years old here in a few months that it's virtually impossible for me to tell him that he can't do stuff, right? There are, for me not to be able to say he can't do stuff. Obviously, I gotta tell him he can't go walk out in the street. You know, he can't touch the, the stove that's hot. He's in a learning point that there is stuff that I want him to know that he can't do. <laughs> But every time I tell him that he can't do something because I know these philosophies, it still kills me. I, I, every day I tell him that he's, he can do anything good. He's a winner. He's a champion. And, and you got to understand yourself as a point of a leader if you're trying to build a business is you have to be that person for your team. You have to be that person for other people. See, I was told one time by my mentor is, is he said, listen, I'm not in a network marketing business. I'm not in the nutrition business. I'm not in the wellness business. I'm in the people business. I don't invest into things. I invest into people. I want you guys to really think about that because, you know, here you come along and you're telling somebody, I mean, think about this as an average person. I want everybody to really understand how serious this blog post is today is, you know, when was an, would an average person ever have somebody tell them that they're proud of them? that they believe in them, that they're a champion. See, people probably could go a whole day, a whole week, a whole year with nobody ever saying, you know what, I'm proud of you, you're a champion, I believe in you. And that's why people ultimately love being an entrepreneur because they're surrounded by a group of people that are now lifting them up. You know, everybody knows this and seen this. There's people that they'll never, they've never made a dime with the company, but they show up and they stick with it. Why? Because they can get around a, a lot of people that make them feel good, that believe in them, that tell them that they're champions. So, you know, either, like I said, this could be for you to share or for you. I'm here to tell each and every one of you that you're a champion. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, when I first got involved with this, you know, I was 22 years old. I had no work experience, no education, and a criminal background. I was so used to having people tell me what I can't do. You know, why I dropped out of high school is because I was so used to people saying, you know, I got held back in first grade. I had ADD. I was dyslexic. I was a slower learner. You know, I was, you know, in my average life of when I got up to 22 years old and decided to be an entrepreneur, I had so many people tell me what I couldn't do. 
I had so many people tell me my shortcomings. I had so many people telling me about my failures and very few, if any, people telling me what I could do of what I could be a champion of being. So I really, really want you guys to think about that is ultimately, if you really want to have massive success in your business, you've got to be a people builder. You can't look at it as your product or your company. You've got to be a people builder because I want you guys to think about this. Ultimately, for most people watching this, your success depends on the success of other people. Think about that. I've never once in 12 years seen somebody get on stage. I don't know if I have any awards around. You know, get on stage and say, hey, I, you know what? I, I, I'm so happy that I finally got this top position in the company, and I really want to just take the second to thank me. I deserve this. <laughs> I worked really hard. I put in thousands of people myself. I, I, I did everything on my own, and I'm the top earner of this company because of me, and I want to thank myself. So thank you guys for recognizing me and being awesome. (laughs) No, what? You always see people thanking their team because you wouldn't get there without them. So, you know, why instead of putting so much emphasis on the product and the company itself, putting on emphasis of building your team, building your members? You know, there's going to be a follow-up to this, uh, and which is very, very important, the follow-up that I'm going to do tomorrow. But I hope you guys understand this, is, you know, you've got to be a people builder. And, and whether you're doing that instinctively or whether you're just brand new, I'm here to tell you that you are a champion. God's not a discerner of people. There's a champion inside each and every one of us. There's nothing that makes Tiger Woods special from anybody else. There's nothing that makes LeBron James special than anybody else. There's nothing that makes any uh, marketer in your business better than you. Other than they started believing that they were a champion and they put in the work. See, every professional athlete in the world or any successful person will tell you that it wasn't a gift that they got. It wasn't that they were special. It's because they put in the hard work. It's because they put in the dedication. So whether you know it or not, you're a champion. It's just up to you if you want to decide to use your abilities, to use your gifts, to use your talent, to go out and share with the world that you are a champion too, guys. So, you know, this is just a very short post today, but I want you guys to understand the gravity of this because, you know, my whole life I was told, you know, that I couldn't do things. And I'm here to tell you that you can do it. Be the person that inspires people. Walk around and tell people they can every single day. You know, I have another post about this is the difference between a thermostat and a thermometer. You know, be that thermometer that inspires other people, that encourages other people, that tells people that they can. And I promise you guys, you will see the return tenfold. So guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys liked today's blog post. And tomorrow I'm going to have a very important follow-up to this. <laughs> so you can go to roberthollisjr.com. Uh, you know, if you uh, uh, subscribe to me, you'll get your free gift from me as well. And, and you'll be up to date on everything that I'm doing. So thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. I have a very, very special treat for you guys later on this week. So excited. I wish I could tell you guys, but I'm not going to. Uh, Probably going to release it uh, uh, Friday, but I'm going to be doing an interview. uh, Here we go. I already uh, said it when I shouldn't have, but I'm doing an interview uh, with one of the most successful people in the network marketing industry. This guy has made millions and millions and millions of dollars, and he's agreed to do an interview with me to share his value to each and every one of you guys. So make sure you subscribe to me to not only get your free gift, but also get the notification when I'm going to be doing Uh, you know, my interview. So guys, thank you so much. God bless and have a wonderful and blessed day.